Okay, this is probably going to be the most unprofessional video I've made to date. I can almost guarantee it because I have a million things I should be doing, but I'm gonna skip all that and have a little fun. Today, I'm going to finally install the Parmen node. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. I don't even know, but it's an open source, easy AF Bitcoin node for desktop computers and Raspberry Pi. So with that, we are going to run through this installation and see if the easy AF part is true. For my installation, I have Linux Mint and I have a one terabyte Samsung portable SSD drive. Now we're gonna try to throw this thing on and see how it goes. So first we will go to the GitHub page and the link to detailed installation guide. And here's the GitHub page. How to install a Parmen node. Computer, first, yeah, you'll need some hardware. I am going to install it on my existing computer that I really just use to make videos. So for me, this part's I'm gonna skip, but here's some recommended computers for a dedicated node that you'll wanna keep running 24 seven. I would also recommend this cheaper option here as you won't need a ton of processing power, just something somewhat decent. This looks fairly similar to what I'm running. And most importantly, you'll need a hard drive, at least one terabyte. You could even go a little bigger if you want to future-proof your node, but one terabyte should be fine for the coming years. Operating system, I already run Linux Mint, so I am going to skip this part, but if you have no experience with Linux Mint, it is very similar to Windows, very intuitive. You won't have any problem navigating it. As you can see here, this is my Linux Mint setup, and yeah, this is my website if you wanna learn any more about Bitcoin, but back to this. I also use Cinnamon Edition, that's what I'm running right now, and this will walk you through how to get the Linux Mint Edition from a Windows computer onto a USB stick so you can install Linux Mint. And then preparing the target computer, this will install Linux Mint on your new computer. Yeah, you can just run through all of these steps if this is your first install. I've already done all of these. So we're getting to the good part, installing Parmen node. So you will just copy, open the terminal, and if you hold control and shift, you can paste in Linux Mint and hit enter. And as you can see here, it's now downloading the information from GitHub and we have to run Parmen node, open a new terminal window and type RP from any directory followed by enter rp nice to run parman node in a new terminal maybe you have to actually follow directions let's give it a try let me shut this and open a new terminal oh oh that worked i guess all the directions and that'll be best for getting it to work okay here we go i have this open let's make it smaller so we can see the screen let me read through this real quick and then enter the password that you set up when you set up Linux Mint and hit enter. And there we go. We are on our way. As it says, you need to satisfy these requirements and then hit enter. All right, update the OS. So with that, you would just type yes, but I'm gonna type no for mine because I have my system already set up. And here we go. People have died fighting for freedom. True. Yeah, running a node allows you to verify all of the Bitcoin transactions are legitimate and it helps you do your part in securing the Bitcoin network. So with that, we will hit enter and then we will type O for overview. And then let's see. All right, let's do, whoops. I already did that coin let's follow the directions exactly like i said i don't know what i'm doing let's try add and then b for bitcoin core as it says okay and then there are separate ways to install bitcoin please choose and if you're new to linux mint you know you can 
click on the top of any tab and select always on top. And then when you go back to the other page, this one will stay on top. So you don't have to keep switching back and forth to see what you're doing. So with that, I think we will use option two. Why? Because it's green. That's why. And it's version 26. Okay. Use an external drive. Yes. I have plugged in the external SSD one terabyte drive and enter. And then we'll want to format the drive. Hit enter to continue. This will erase everything on the drive. So if you have any important documents on the drive beforehand, make sure you know you're going to wipe those. And now make sure the drive you wish to add is disconnected. Okay, we'll hit enter again. And then go ahead and connect the drive. That is done. And a window has popped up. Yes, these are empty. I was going to use this earlier, but never got to it. So hit enter to continue. And there we go. No errors, hit enter. Okay, now you can choose if you want to prune the node or not. I am going to choose no because I want the full blockchain installed. And then it appears there is a Bitcoin directory. Yeah, I know that. Would you like to leave it? I would like to delete it because it's empty, like I said. Create a backup or use it. We will delete it so it can install it on its own. Hit enter again. Current version. Yes. And enter. Okay. Now it is installing the... Bitcoin blockchain, and this will take a while, depending on the speed of your internet connection. It can take up to a few days, but in my experience, it has taken me usually, I think eight hours, maybe nine or 10. I have a one gigabyte internet connection. You can test your speeds if you'd like by going to fast.com and it will tell you about how fast your connection is. And that will depend how fast the entire blockchain is downloaded. And of course, the faster your speed, the faster it will download, the slower the speed, the longer it will take. Hit enter one more time. I think we're getting to the good part. All right, your Bitcoin core should have started syncing and there's a success screen. So with that, we'll hit enter one more time. Yeah, keep your computer on, don't let it go to sleep. And as soon as we're done hitting enter, all right, that is syncing now. Now we're back on the main menu. I wanna actually see this thing sync the blockchain. So we'll type U, U for use programs and then B for Bitcoin core. And then let's see. Okay, after running through some options and not really reading the directions, I figured it out from the main menu. As it says, simply just go to U for use programs and you can see, or in the selection, Bitcoin Core, and you can see at the top here, it's running, and here's the block height, and it is 0.04% done syncing. So as I said, this will take probably longer than a half a day. So just let it go, and you can, as you see here, you can refresh the screen, and we'll come back to the video once it's done syncing. Okay, it is now the next day. And as you can see, we're at 91.5% finished. It's been about 18 hours and maybe my math is wrong with that. It's been about 20 hours actually. And we're at 91%. So yeah, I was way off with saying eight hours for a really fast download and sync. I may not remember correctly. Maybe I was thinking 18 hours, but yeah. We will come back to this once we're at 100%, probably in a few hours here. Okay, now that this node is fully synced and set up, let's go do a little bit of exploring. Now, again, if you go to O, you get your, well, you get your overview. And as you can see here, I have the Bitcoin Core running. And here are the other apps that I do not have installed yet. So let's go back to the previous page and type add. And then you have node related software, wallet software, mining software, other software and cool stuff. Let's just browse around 
for node software, you have your Bitcoin Explorer here. I would highly recommend installing that as well as the mempool explorer. I would highly recommend installing that. BTC pay server, if you have a need for it, and if you don't know what it is, look it up, but it allows you to accept Bitcoin payments for like, if you were a merchant or something, super interesting and cool software. Um, watch a YouTube video on that if you have a use for it, it is really cool. And then electors and fulcrum are servers you would need to install to run these other apps, I do believe. Let's try the BTC Explorer. And yes, you have to install a server first for that. So we'll go to previous page and use to use programs. Bitcoin Core is installed, Tor is installed, and the Harmon Shell is installed. Let's go to don't want to remove anything, but let's see what tools has. You can see the list of tools here. IP is interesting. Yes, that is your, my local IP address. And here's my external IP address. Let's go back settings. You can change the colors. That could be cool. I kind of like the Bitcoin themed colors as is. And then, yeah, a bunch of other things, but let's go back to Use programs, no add. Wallet software. You're definitely gonna want a wallet. That's the whole point of this. When you connect to your own personal Bitcoin node, you're no longer connecting to a third party node. When you connect to a third party node, they can scrape your information and see all of your Bitcoin addresses that are publicly available when they're in your Bitcoin wallet, they're private to you. But if you connect to a third party node, there's a chance that they could be logging the data. And when all of your Bitcoin addresses connect to that node at the same time, that's a clue that they're all in the same wallet. So they could potentially log all of those addresses to your IP address. When you're using your own Bitcoin node to connect to, to verify your balances and transactions, uh, you don't have that problem because you're connecting to your own full node that you run. So the only person that could log your information is you. And that's where the privacy aspect comes in of running your own full node. But yeah, I'm not going to install anything right now as I would install the Electrum wallet or Sparrow wallet. But first you would have to install one of those servers and as you can see with this software, it's just going to be as simple as selecting the option. So as a review of this Armin full node, I like it. It's very simple. It's easy to use. It's visually appealing. The UI is, I don't mind it at all. It kind of has a tech vibe to it running in the command prompt. But yeah, that is just an overview of how it works. I was curious. I run an Umbrel full node. And I've played with some other software, so I wanted to give this one a try. And so far, I like what I see. And yeah, that's it for this review. And thank you, Parman, for creating this. It's actually pretty awesome. Hope you enjoyed the video.